exquisite cooking, and harmonizing yoga. Join us as we take the next 30 days to discover a whole new way of living. Hello, welcome back. All right, so our meal for today is going to be an infusion of some Thai food with uh, Indian food. Now, let's go through our major ingredients, and then along the way, sometimes I add stuff. Uh, the, on the veggie side of things, what we have are some mushrooms. You can use whatever kind of mushroom you want. Uh, this is a rhubarb. Other vegetables that you could add is celery, or even uh, bell peppers. And then I have some carrots, and then a jalapeno pepper to add some zest. Then uh, we have minced, I pre-minced this uh, ginger, and then also minced garlic, which I bought in a jar, which is good and simple to use. And then uh, for our shell, we have chapatis. Now these are ready-made chapatis. All we need to do is throw them on the burner, and then we'll have uh, a cooked chapati. And chapati is much like a tortilla, so another alternative is to use a tortilla. Or you can also make them from scratch, which we'll be doing in another video. Uh, another ingredient, which I would like to add, just because it adds the omega-3 factor, and also some fibers, additional fibers, to the meal. This is ground flaxseed. So you can just buy flaxseed at the store and then throw it in a blender or a coffee grinder and then you get nice ground uh, flaxseed. On top of this we also have, uh, this is uh, just vegetable broth, which we'll be using for a base, soy sauce, um, almond oil, you can also use, or almond butter, you can also use peanut butter or any other kind of nutty, nutty butter to give it flavor. And finally, we have some lemon juice. So together, these will make up the main ingredients of the dish. We'll start first with the carrots. So peel the carrots first, which I've finished. And then we're just going to dice them up into really small pieces. I forgot to mention, we'll also be adding uh, eggs to the dish. You can either use eggs, or these are egg beaters, or you can also use cheese, if you're somebody that likes cheese. I preferably don't like cheese, so I'm skipping cheese on my meal. So just cut up the carrots into really small chunks, so that they'll cook really quickly. Once we've cut up the carrots small, we're going to move on to the rhubarb. Now because the rhubarb is uh, not as tough, we can cut these into larger pieces, which will give also a different texture, which is nice. So, you know, one centimeter width with the rhubarb. Now we can keep all the veggies together. Now what we're going to keep separate is, in this case, the jalapeno. Now make sure before you get into your jalapenos that you check the intensity of the spice. I learned this the hard way by adding a whole jalapeno to a dish and it ended up being the spiciest jalapeno I've ever used. So make sure you check out how spicy it is before you add too much, otherwise you might be only tasting really hot food and missing the whole flavor of the dish. So the jalapenos you just cut up into smaller pieces. Pieces that will fry easily and we're just going to put it together with the uh, ginger because the two can be cooked at the same time. Then we're going to keep the mushrooms also separate because we're going to add these last. Well, not last, but much later uh, once things have cooked a little bit. Now cut these into slices and keep the slices about the same thickness as we did with the rhubarb at about a centimeter. 
This is going to add the meaty flavor that most people would expect from a dish like this. So now we're ready to cook the dish. And since we opted to make uh, the bread, the chapati, or the tortilla ourselves, we were having both burners on. Now we're going to start by adding the garlic. To our pan. One teaspoon will be good to get started. Might be a little bit too hot. I'll throw in the um, ginger and jalapenos. Give it a quick stir. Then, we'll throw in our veggies, starting with the, uh, we have just all the veggies in together. And now we can add a little bit of soy sauce. as well as the vegetable broth. Just add a hint of the soy sauce. Just the broth. Now the veggies will absorb the broth and the soy sauce. Next we'll get going on one of the chapatis. So you just throw it on the burner. Or throw it on the pan. Non-stick Teflon is best. And I put down a little olive oil for base. That way it won't stick. With the veggies we can just let it sit for a little while. <clears throat> we might add a little bit of uh, pepper. Black pepper. Good. And then just put a lid so that mm, not too much of the nutrients evaporates. Now the chapati, you want to press around the edges as it's cooking because that's going to help to allow it to puff up in the middle. So you get these nice air bubbles if the flour is fresh and depending on the nature of the chapati. Sometimes it won't puff, sometimes it will. Don't feel bad if it doesn't. It'll still taste delicious. You just want to let it so it becomes a little bit more tan on the upside. That way, when you see it change color, you know that the bottom side is cooked a little bit, and then you can give it a flip. Oh, and while we're doing this, we're just going to preset the oven to 375, because we're going to bake everything. Once we're done, so we could probably give this chapati a flip. Looks pretty good. If you want it to be have these crisp brown spots, then you can use more oil. Whereas if you want to keep it a nice consistent color, then you're going to use less oil. So let's check on our veggies. Looking good. Now at this point, to thicken things up a bit, oh, we'll actually add the uh, mushrooms now. Put the lid down again. With the chapatis, I'm going to put them on a baking pan. 
and then I can fill them up as I go. So now uh, we're going to add the butter, whether it be peanut butter or, uh, in my case, almond butter, to the mix-up. You can add as much as you want. I'm going to probably add one and a half spoons. And from here, you're just going to need to mix everything together. Then we can add the uh, lemon, just a hint, you don't need tons. And finally, the ground up flax seeds. I'm also going to add a little bit more soy sauce now. And then give it all one good big mix. So now we're just going to combine everything. We'll start out with the uh, Eggs. I've mixed in a little bit of flaxseed just to make it a little bit thicker. And we're just going to paint the egg over the top of the chapati. Again, if you're not familiar with chapatis, then just go with tortillas because it's going to have a very similar taste. Make sure you get the edges because that's where we're going to need to seal them off. So. And finally, we're going to add our mixture into the chapati. Trying to keep it somewhat together and then fold it over and close it up into a sandwich. We'll do that for each of these. There we go. Now we're all packed up and we're ready to throw it in the oven for 10 minutes.